So in the previous video, we solved a problem involving uh, x equals t cubed minus 4t and y equals t squared plus t. It got me thinking about, well, what does this curve actually look like? Because um, the only other uh, parametric equation curve that we've looked at so far was just a parabola on its side. So let's see what a weird one can actually look like. So we're going to go through the process of uh, plotting some points. That's really the only way we can do this, unless we just, sub we just write it into a graphing package. So if we start off with our values of t, so we'll start at minus 5, go down all the way up to 5. Okay, and we're going to have our x and y coordinates that come from that. Okay, so we could use the uh, table function on your calculator in order to do this to speed up time. So um, typing in t cubed uh, minus 4t. Um, oh, I go back because you can set up as two in this, can't you? So t cubed, so x cubed, uh, take away four x in this case, um, and then your g of x can be uh, x squared plus t. So we're gonna start it from minus five, end it at five, go up in ones. So we've got minus 105, 20, minus 48, 12, minus 15, 6, uh, 0, 2, we've got 3, 0, 0, 0, minus 3, 2, 0, 6, 15, 12, 48, 20, and 105.30. Okay, so that's using the table function. And you can generate those values otherwise by just typing them into your calculator. Okay, so let's try and figure out what this is going to look like. Now, there does seem to be some relatively interesting stuff going on around the origin. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus in our attention here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, going up to about six there actually. So six, six. Um, and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, right, so let's see what's going on around the origin here. Now we've got this point uh, zero, 02, okay? So zero, 02 when t is minus 2. Now where does it come from? It's come from minus 15, 6. So a point that's somewhere all the way over here, okay? So it's coming in, sweeping in. To that point. So at minus 1, when t is minus 1, we're at 3, 0. So 3, 0. So the curve's currently done this. Then we're at uh, 0, 0. Okay, now that's a bit strange. So what's happened is that it's come round and must sweep back round. Okay. Then we're at minus 3, 2, so minus 3, 2, so somewhere here. Okay, so we're going round, sweeping round like that. And then at 0, 6. Okay, now if I just plot, plotted those points on a graph, then ask you to draw the curve that goes through them, you might have a bit of difficulty. But knowing the order in which you're plotting them is important here because then you know something like this must be happening 
okay, in order to generate this curve, because then we're up at 1512, so somewhere up here, okay, so probably not as steep as that, so somehow coming in and then shooting off something like that, okay, so it's a quite weird behaviour going on here and that's what's going on in that little region there. So, and then what you're having is that the X values are increasing, the Y values aren't increasing as quickly, okay, so it's, it's plateauing. And as we're going in this direction, well, what's going to be happening is that the X values are getting larger as well, Y values are increasing a little bit slower, so it's plateauing that way as well, okay? And all the interesting stuff's happening around the origin in this case. So you can get some quite unique behaviour, whereas you could never get a Cartesian equation to do this, okay, to cross itself without having some form of piecemeal, um, one equation doing this bit, one equation doing this bit, okay, you wouldn't be able to do it otherwise, but parametric equations allow you to do that.